We're moving into step back and reach. So standing near the front of your mat, from here, you're gonna step one leg back. As you do so, raising the arms straight overhead, you're landing on the ball of the foot, and we're taking your pelvis and rotating it under to stretch out the hip. You're gonna hold for a second, come back to where you started, and repeat on one side for 45 seconds. So really focus on tucking the hips under or tucking that tailbone to stretch out the hip. All right, time's up on that side. We're gonna switch, repeating for 45 seconds. All right, and time's up, come back to center. We're moving into dynamic leg swings with a pull. So you're gonna be using your pull for balance, choosing one leg to start, pull should be in the opposite hands, and you're just gonna let that leg swing forward and back nice and loose for 30 seconds. So we're just working on opening up in the hips. All right, we're gonna stay on this side for the next 30 seconds. That leg is gonna go side to side in front of the body. All right, we're gonna switch sides, starting with the forward and back for 30 seconds. All right, and we're gonna come in front for the final 30 seconds. All right, and time is up, come back to center. We're moving into warrior two. 
On your mat, you're gonna bring your front foot, toes facing forward. The back leg is straight back with the toes off at about 45. From here, we're gonna raise our arms straight out to the sides and we're gonna look over that lead hand. Bending into that front leg, we're holding for 45 seconds. So you wanna just watch that your shoulders are relaxed down away from your ears. We're focusing on strengthening the legs from bending into the front one. We're also giving a little stretch to the inner thigh of the back leg as you press into that lunge. All right, thumbs up on that side, we're gonna switch. So front toes forward, back toes at that 45, arm straight, look over the front arm, bend into the front leg, we're holding for 45 seconds. All right, and time's up. You can come back to center. We're moving into dynamic leg circles with a strap. So taking your strap, you're gonna lie on your back and hook it around the arch of one of your feet. From here, lying and relaxing your upper body back and extending the other leg out. You're gonna use the strap to guide your leg in a circular motion for 45 seconds. Go whichever direction feels more natural for you and you can experiment, maybe starting with slightly smaller circles and as time goes, making them bigger. You're just focusing on pressing and pulling using that strap. So we're opening up and warming up into the hip. Just focusing on the range of motion of the joint. All right, time's up on that side. Go ahead and switch and repeat for 45 seconds. All right, time is up. Come back to center on your mat. We're moving into staff pose. You're gonna have a seat on your mat with your legs extended straight out in front, toes flexed to the shins. From here, hands are at your sides for support, shoulders are down, chest is tall, spine is straight. We're gonna hold the position for 45 seconds. So really watching that you're not letting yourself dump into your back, your chest is tall, your spine is tall, shoulders are down, legs straight, and again, toes flexed. So you might be feeling a bit of a stretch into the hamstrings, and overall, we're just working on good posture.
All right, time is up. You can come back to center. We're moving into a prone quad stretch with a strap. So coming into position, you're gonna be lying on your belly. You're gonna wrap the strap around one foot. From here, have it in the same side hand, coming straight forward, having your knees planted, legs close together, and then just gently pulling on the strap to stretch out the quad. We're holding for 45 seconds. All right, time's up. So we're gonna go ahead and switch sides. And repeating on the other leg, holding for 45 seconds. All right, time is up. You can release the strap and come back to center on your mat. We're moving into figure four twist. You're gonna lie on your back, bring one ankle to the knee, reaching either underneath onto your hamstring or onto your shin, and then you're gonna relax your upper body back down. Flex your toes to the shin of the side we're stretching, and we're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Focus on pressing the knee away from you of that bent leg that we're stretching out the glute of. From here, releasing your hands, you're gonna let that top leg slide right over and then they're gonna drop off to the side. Extend your arms out, looking over the opposite shoulder. We're holding for 30 seconds. You can choose to place your hands on that top leg or leave it extended, whatever feels better. Stretching out the glute again and getting into the low back. From here, coming back up, and we're gonna start the other side. So ankle to knee, reaching through, upper body's relaxed down, flex the toes to the shin, and holding for 30 seconds. Pressing the knee away from you of the side that we're stretching. From here, releasing the hands, letting the legs slide over. They're falling off to the side and we are looking over the opposite shoulder, holding for a final 30 seconds.
All right, time is up. Coming back up to a seated position on your mat. We're moving into reclined butterfly. So you're gonna lie down on your mat. Upper body is relaxed. From here, bring the soles of your feet together, sliding them a little bit closer to you, and then letting those knees fall out to the sides. We're gonna hold for 45 seconds. So as you let your knees relax and fall out, we're opening up into the hips, the groin, and the inner thighs. All right, time is up. Come back to a seated position on your mat. We're moving into a hamstring stretch with a wall. So you're gonna be seated close to the wall with your legs to the side. From here, you're just gonna lay down, swinging your legs up onto the wall, placing your heels down and flexing your toes to your shins. We're gonna hold for one minute. If you're further away from the wall, it'll be less of a stretch. So if you need to, you can always kind of scoot yourself a bit closer to increase the stretch, but really focus on flexing your toes to your shins. All right, time is up. You can bring your legs down and come back to center. That wraps up today's routine. We'll see you next time.